Hey, once again, this is Kevin Lockett with Black Friday Tips for Guys. Today we're going to talk about creating your own box sets. Now, let's say your funds are limited, uh, but you want to get something nice. So let's say you have someone in your life who likes uh, Kenny Chesney or Jay-Z, uh, so you start hunting for a box set. Now, as far as I know, Jay-Z and Kenny Chesney don't have a box set. So what do you do? Or let's say you want to, you want to buy the Beatles box set, but it costs like $10 billion and you don't have those funds. Now, in our town, which is Akron, Ohio, we have a place called uh, The Exchange. We used to be called Record Exchange. And you go in there, you buy used CDs and used DVDs. This is a great, cheap way to create a box set. So let's use the Jay-Z example. Let's say the first person that you're buying the gift for loves Jay-Z. What you do in there, you go in there and you buy, if you can, if you can buy all the Jay-Z CDs you can. Uh, that could be $250, $5, um, anything that's less than $10. And you get all his... Uh, albums together or CDs together, package them up, boom, put a nice little wrapping on it, boom, you got yourself a Christmas gift. Now let's say you can also split it up. Let's say you give volume one, which could be his first three albums at Christmas time, and then volume, uh, volume two on that person's birthday. Or let's say that uh, you, they don't have all those songs. Let's say you only can all those albums. Let's say you only got uh, maybe uh, three or five JC's albums. Well, you you kind of pick and choose what you want to do. You might do like a best of. Let's say you have the blueprint, uh, reasonable doubt, um, and uh, I don't know, a mega gangster, can make a gangster soundtrack. So you can kind of put those together. But the idea is you're spending less money, but you're buying something that someone would like at a cheap price.